the insurer's size often means that it is viewed as a reflection of what the industry is experiencing. Travelers Insurance Company has announced that its catastrophe losses have doubled in its most recent quarter, and the insurer experienced a loss as severe wind and hailstorms struck several regions and brought on an increase in claims. Claims have been rising because of the impact of climate change on natural disasters. The rising frequency of claims relating to extreme weather, such as wildfires, hurricanes, hail and high winds is causing disruptions throughout the industry. These issues are cited by the insurers that have been withdrawing from some of the hardest hit states, such as Florida and California. The insurers' catastrophe losses reached $1.48 billion in the quarter ending on June 30, which was a substantial increase from $746 million in the same quarter in 2022. It is precisely this type of trend that has been sending insurers into retreat from the region's hardest hit by severe weather, even after having previously been raising premiums for years in order to cover those losses. Travelers Insurance Company's catastrophe losses doubled during the second quarter, compared to the year before. State Farm, Allstate, Farmers, and AAA Insurance Company have all recently made headlines for their decisions to stop selling in markets such as California or Florida. They have stated that they simply cannot afford to continue writing new policies within regions where the risks are so high. Skyrocketing claims that travelers have contributed to a $14 million loss, which has translated to $0.07 cents per share. When adjusting for non-repeating costs, the insurer reported that it had earned $0.06 cents per share. Still, that is nowhere near the per-share profit Zach's investment research predicted based on a survey of analysts. They foresaw a profit of $2.27 per share. At the same time in 2022, Travelers Insurance Company generated a profit of $551 million, which was $2.27 per share. The insurer's adjusted revenue hit $10.13 billion. That said, it outpaced expectations as its net written premiums, the amount customers pay in premiums that the insurer keeps for having assumed risk, rose to a record $10.3 billion. Thank you for following LIN. Make sure to hit subscribe and sign up for our weekly newsletter today.